Hello, on this way off trail, Suck Star Gaming. And it's Xantop, the one who's going to be guiding Way Off Trail once more through this game. So, yeah, we're back in Super Mario Jury. And uh, it's been a little bit. Um, this way? Yes. Okay. You, you can leave the Midas River now. Okay. I know you, you've been there for like three years. It seems like it. Uh, so, I also may have forgotten all the controls since then, so... So, you're, you're going to want to go just like that middle path first. We will, we'll go left and right afterwards. Okay, this way? No, 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 no. Middle path. There you oh, go. Yes, okay. right there. I can't go any further. Stand, stand on the rock. Stand on the rock. Stand on the rock. Oh my god, stand on the rock. Oh! Hey, the Tadpole. What's this place called? Uh, I didn't look. <laughs> Tadpole Pond. Ah. Hi! Can I help you? Mallow, it's you! We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Bellum, right? You, you know about that? Is that me? See, That's Mario, the, the waterways of the, wor the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Are you really THE Super Mario? Hey, everybody! You'll never guess who's here! Oh. He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if he's only a, if it's only a rumor. You mean the lady in the flowers? There you go. Figured it out. Um, I'll let you handle this one. Well, Grasshopper, what's new? Grandpa, M Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? That was Profusius, by the way. Oh, my bad. You, you can tell why, because he's not floating. Yep. Welcome. So you are Mario, yes? I am Frog Fuchsius. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along. You will talk. Clear. Full reverse. Tadpoles, don't just float there. Make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. Do you know how to move across tadpoles? Uh, I assume jump. Correct! There we go. Yes, go to my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep. He is quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if only you knew the truth. Toadstool is no longer there. Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here is what happened. You are rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's Keep. And after defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split the sky. Whoosh! Out of the blue. The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still lost somewhere out there. 
now. You're worried about the princess, but first, you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wrecking havoc in our world. Mac, whom you defeated at Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. Without a star in the castle of Mushroom Kingdom, do you know why it was there? A star, eh? Hmm. Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? Dear God, say now. <laughs> That's all I do. He would repeat everything. Yeah, I know. I figured he would. It's quite a situation we have in our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Mallow, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure, too. Uh-huh. Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Uh... Did, didn't you know he's a tadpole? <laughs> Malo, my boy, I've kept this from you until now. But you're... Adopted. A dumbass. <laughs> also, not, not a tadpole. <laughs> no! What? Say what? <laughs> I was sitting here one rainy day, enjoying a snag of crickets, when I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. He was a crybaby, too. <laughs> I thought, surely, He's this a little... child must be from some far-off land. Grandpa? You mean I'm not a tadpole? <laughs> Mallow! Now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family so I can have a moment of peace. <laughs> your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Uh... Mario. The boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? No. Grandpa? I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario. Find my real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to Rose Town, where they need your help. Alright, before There's, there's a secret here, isn't there? There's, there's a couple things I want you to do. First of all, talk a little- look at the banner. Sola mi re do re do re. Yep, that's cool. Now talk to Frogutius. Oh, it will be quiet around here with Mago gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. That's right! I forgot all about it! I will give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. Ah, I know. You should have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. The froggy stick will come in handy. Great name. Do not forget to equip it. Hey, look, you got Mallow's first weapon. Yeah. No longer will he just be punching. 
Oh, now he whacks things. Like that, that's regular items. Now he will whack things with a stick. There you go. You will, can leave for Fuchsia's now. Yeah, how, was it fun talking to yourself there for quite a bit? Dude, I played Fire Emblem Awakening. <laughs> I played Phoenix Wright. Alright, which way now? The whole game was talking to yourself. Uh, go to your right. You can, you can run, remember. Uh... Not with that button. There you go. I found it! Whee! Alright, ignore them for right now. Here. This screen. Melody Bay. So, if you go up to the top of the screen here, there will be a composer by the name of Todovsky. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. Well, talk to Todovsky. Well, I guess you don't have to. So, I sent you an image that of uh, music notes. You want to jump on the. You want to click jump when the tadpole is in the correct position to play the melody. It's the same melody that was hidden behind Falcius. Okay. Uh, so I need. Okay. Oh. If you screw up, just quickly go through them all. There's no reset. That's annoying. Yeah. I mean, it's a Super Nintendo game. <laughs> Nailed it. That is the worst song I've ever heard! So, Todovsky is trying to find the right melody. When you when you play the right melody for Todovsky, you'll get a reward of some sort. There are three songs in the game that you can give to Todovsky. Each one of them is essentially unlocked at a different point in time. The first one is unlocked just by meeting with Falcutius. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, it almost got me. I almost messed up. Ah, there we go. And, okay. And then, same one as before. That's it! This is the melody I've been looking for! Thank you for the inspiration. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Received an alto card. If I've ever if you ever need help with a my if I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu. <laughs> okay. That all is a little fun. And like a same block. I don't know why the same block here, but that's the same block. Oh, I'm going to save, so, just in case I the, mess it up. One of the tadpoles here has a little shop where you can buy coin, where you can buy items for frog coins. But you can only get extra to the shop by having the Alto card. And later on, with different cards that you can get from Todovsky, they will unlock better items. This is the only thing that's on this particular screen. You'll have to go back where the tadpoles are. Oh, God. So there's one over there. You can talk to them. I've got this dream of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as Todovsky. Can't wait to graduate for music school and start composing. And then the shop with the uh, tadpoles is going to be to the left of where Falcutius was. Okay. Let's go, Mario, go! Whee! Oh. Each one has a different shop, I believe. So, Welcome. the juice bar. Welcome to the juice bar. Are you a card member? Even Todoski has a membership here. Ah, an alto card holder. Would you... What would you like? Uh... So right now you can only buy frog units and I guess they are it's for regular coins. There's something else that's frog coins. Uh, I should so, probably sell some stuff. I have a ton of stuff, don't I? Uh, I would sell the pure waters. Okay. Keep in mind you're about to hit the coin limit. The limit is 999 coins. Oh, so I should probably buy something, huh? Oh, yeah. Um, let's do this. My four Very levels. valuable. Um, okay, let's see the other guy. Welcome to the Frog Coin Emporium. You're a first timer, aren't you? Listen up. The green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them and you can buy items at Tadpole Pot. I knew the frog coin shop around here. Okay, I have one. Sleepy Bomb, Bracer. 
Oh. Energizer, Crystalline, Power Blast. Okay, I don't really want any of those. Yeah, I, I don't tend to mess with stat boosting arms, really in any RPG. Oh, if you're yeah. gonna go for any of them, the Crystalline or the Power Booster, since they are the whole party. Once they're just like, oh, we're using a stat for one ally. Fuck that. I'm gonna buy another one. Yep. I realize I still have a lot of money. Oh, yeah. It is not hard to hit the coin cap in this game. This way? Yeah. Now that you've learned about Frog Fuchsius and he's told you to go to Rose Town. Nope. There you go. Now we're going to go through Rose Way. Dude, you might want to read the sign. Yep, saw it. You can't jump on or off when the block is blue. Try jumping when the block turns yellow. So you step on a block, it'll take you to another spot. Uh, they'll carry you from one spot to another. Fight enemies, get some items. There's a few optional paths here, but it's really just where you want to go. Oh. You can jump up and get the coin. Meh. And you pass the barrel off. This way? I, I honestly am not sure which path is correct. I think it's this one. That guy's going to rush me. Oh, he looks like a bandit to me. Beat him up. He just started to run away. He did. Remember, you can press yeah, the forgot. button the block. And you also got your time attack. Now, yeah, good, you got it on that one. I wasn't sure if you knew the time for the knock-knock shell. No, I'm just kind of obvious. Uh, Froggy Stick will also be pretty obvious. Mallow will run up to them, hit them with a stick. When he hits them, that's when you press it. I don't know why I wanted to fight this guy. Take free XP. There you go. The Beat spells are always the hard thing to get the timing on. I always find the enemies are harder. Some of the attacks are, yeah. But the regular attacks are usually pretty easy. There's a few of them that are, that are fast, but once you learn them, it's not that bad. Oh, he's got another guy. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's right. You better run. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Be scared. <laughs> Well, on the one hand, it's funny when that happens, on the other hand, it's frustrating. It's like, no, I wanted the experience, damn it. Why would you run away? Hey, we got another one of these. What the perk path is? Nobody knows. What's the coin? Actually, I think that's the exit. That'd be amazing. Huh. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of them top of the treasure chest here. <laughs> I want it! Fine, I'll fight you. <laughs> Oh. An arachnid. Uh, let's take... I think it's what it's arachnid, that's right. Let's take out the crook first. Uh, yeah. Ow. <laughs> Shoot a little pebble at me? Yeah. You monster. The, the sprite when Mallow is swinging his stick back behind him, it's always looked weird to me. Like, it looks like he has extra wrinkles on his back, but it's just his arm. <laughs> More coins! I see you. Eh. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh. Nice. Nice. ba 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 um, let's see, I'll take out one of the flower dudes. Or not. Holland nap. Okay, yep, they gotta die. Congratulations. You're asleep. Yay. HP Max! Hey! Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, Mario's looking low on health. He'll be fine. He woke up in time just to beat that guy down. True. Oh, level All seven. Right, level seven, you want to go for HP here. Oh, wow, yeah. Yep. Um. And then it's B? Nope. Why? What are you trying to do? Oh, items? No. The 
appears to be really good timing on it as well, where you can get more healing. I've never been very good at doing it, however. Like, I'm not sure exactly when it is. Yeah. Alright, um... Get you out of there. And boop! There we go. Hey, Mario level 7. Level 7, that's some more HP. There we go. Is these all coins? I don't remember. If one of them, if, if it starts out with just a small coin pack, everything in that chest is going to be a small coin. So you can just hit it once and then you'll find out. There you go. I was pretty sure they weren't all just coins, they just didn't remember for sure. Eh. Okay. I was getting tired of them. Ooh, this is this is a good scene. Oh. I guess, uh... Have we had a Bowser voice, or was that me? We have... You know, I don't remember. He was in the first episode. I don't remember having his voice, though. Uh, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> All right, people, form ranks. Atten Attention, shelled warriors, hooded sorcerers, <coughs> and last but not least, groundling goombas. Your, you know, awful cannon fodder. This is our finest moment. The Koopa Troop is invincible. We shall be victorious. The bridge is down, but we'll find a way to get back in. Move out on the double. Good old Bowser. That first Bowser hurt. and the troops must be on the way to Bowser's keep. Come on, Rose Town is just up ahead. That voice hurt a little bit. Yeah, some some voices can be rough. So that's Rose Way, and look at that—we already made it to Rose Town. Woo! Uh, oh, that guy just get shot with an arrow. He did. See, arrows come flying out from the forest, and when you're hit, you can't move. See, look, I can't move a muscle. Now I have, now I know how a scarecrow feels. That sucks. It does. Oops. God, I always do that. Since the day a shooting star fell into the forest, arrows have been showering our town. Oh. Oh. Rip. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. <sighs> Mario, help! Hey, Mario, I'll be taking care of Princess Toadstool now. Boing boing! Super jump attack! Gwaha! You think you can hurt me with your childish pranks? Attention, Toadstool, you're coming with me! Zip your lip! Help! Help! Somebody please help me! Hey! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's. it's my. Mom! Mom, look, we have a guest! Yes, dear, I hear you. Hello there. Why are... Wh wh aren't you Mario? For real? Well, you have the hat and the funky stash. Are you really Mario? You betcha. How do I know it's you? You, you just might be pulling my leg. Show me. Prove it. <laughs> All right. Hey, Mario, you want to play with me? I'm playing Save the World. Now, Gaz, Mario might be a little tired, dear. No, oh, come on, Mom. You can never play. You never play with me. It's no fun playing alone. Oh dear, Mario. I hate to ask, but could you play with Gaz for a little while? Yes, Mario. You just brought the farm, so you you can be Bowser. I'll I'll be Gino, okay? <laughs> Ready? Let's play from where I left off. All set. Ooh, scary, but just watch me. Better watch out, Bowser, because Gino's going to blow you away. Take this. Your turn, Bowser. After all, this is a turn-based game. <laughs> oh, oh no, if he keeps this up, I'm finished. All right, you asked for it. 
the super duper custom patented one and only shooting star shot. Oops, I I think I missed. Oh dear, oh my, Mario, are you alright? Uh oh. Man, drugs are a hell of a thing. Game over. That mask in the shelf has always creeped me out. Mask behind the counter? Wait, where? No, look look on the shelf in the far right. Uh, it's not a mask. That's two different shelves. There's plates and cups. It looks like a face, though. A little bit, but that's two different shelves. So there's, there's this weird little star thing yeah. jumping around. What's that all about? Yeah. Um, it's seeming to spin... Oh, it's picked Gino. <gasps> it's my boy. So then I'm assuming you want to voice Gino. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'll be Bowser and then I get the other companion later, I guess. Sure. You, you get Croco. So, we'll, we'll learn more about what's happening there later, but we just saw a star go inside of a toy and make it big. That's all we really know for now about what's going on there. And alive. Well, yes. <laughs> Not just the big thing, but also living, you know? Well, I mean, what is living? That's what I thought. All right. Whoops. God, I keep doing that every time. Mom, you'll never believe what I just saw. It was amazing, Mom. I just saw Gino walk into the forest. Neat, huh? Yes, dear. That's nice, dear. And isn't Gino the one who broke my lamp the other day? Uh, Mom, that was just... Well, you know... Now this was real! I swear, Mom, really, it's true. I saw him outside. All right, Gaz, let's hear it. What are you trying to get out of this time, hmm? Mom, I didn't do anything. I, I really, truly saw Gino walk into the forest. Um, so, sorry if I hurt you, but what what would Gino want in the forest? Oh, this boy is impossible. R raise your hand to everybody that uh, got in trouble with their parents but blamed it on either their toy or their imaginary friend. Mm -hmm. Everybody raise your hands. Okay. Alright, so before you leave town and go to that forest, they're obviously look for the shops. But then there's another building in the at the very top that I want you to go check out. All right, just see if these guys have anything. Blah 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 blah. This looks sketchy. Eh eh. Nope. Thought I'd try. Of course. Uh, standing around so boring. <laughs> I wonder what's keeping him. Uh, well, he he's been be shot. <laughs> oh, item shop. Hello. Mario, good to have a customer at last. Yep. Uh, what do you got for me? Um, Just some basic bitch items. Garbage. How about you? Uh, oh, here we go. Um... What do I have equipped? I just have a regular shirt, so a thick shirt probably a good idea. Generally speaking, whenever you go to a shop that has new equipable items, those items are going to be better than what you already had. Thick shirt, typically. thick pants. I really wish that you could compare staff while in the shop, but again, simple RPG. Yep. There we go. There we go. Padded pants. <laughs> all right all right there we go and i really didn't spend all that much nope so how do you get that you might be wondering well i can tell you do i need gino no 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 although uh there might be a i think there's a hidden chest in here go in, go in the top corner there it is. Uh, Croc coin! 
Alright, now leave this building. Trust me. <laughs> 